Mingle Larper. Welcome from Read the Passage Myanmar EDU YouTube channel. Unit 8. Food Chain. 1. What is a chain? 2. Can you guess what food chain could mean? 3. Name a few animals that eat grass. 4. Name a few animals that eat the animals that eat grass. Read the passage. All living things need food. Plants are living things, so they need food. The question is, where do plants get their food from? Well, plants make their own food by using carbon dioxide from the air and water from the soil in the presence of sunlight as they possess green pigments. Animals, on the other hand, cannot make their own food so they must eat plants or other living things. For example, grass grows in a field, and we all know that rabbits eat grass, and hawks eat rabbits. Now, we may rewrite that sentence in the passive voice, and we will get, grass is eaten by rabbits, and rabbits are eaten by hawks. That is an example of a simple food chain. Now, instead of writing a full sentence, let us use an arrow to show what is eaten by what. Then we get a simple diagram of a simple food chain like this. Grass to rabbit and rabbit to hawk. Now, instead of writing grass is eaten by cows and cows are eaten by tigers, we may use a simple diagram like this. Grass to cow and cow to tiger. To understand better, let us take a little larger food chain where grass is eaten by grasshoppers, and grasshoppers by frogs, and frogs by snakes, and snakes by hawks. A simple diagram for that will be Grass to grasshopper Grasshopper to frog Frog to snake And snake to hawk But when the hawks die one day, their bodies fall to earth and they are eaten by ants and bacteria. Their bodies then decompose and become nutrients for plants. Study the diagram to understand the food chain. Birds such as vultures and crows, and animals such as hyenas and jackals are called scavengers. These birds and animals eat the remains of what other animals have killed and eaten. In fact, vultures eat even the rotting flesh of dead animals. Thus, what these scavengers do is a kind of cleaning up job. However, there are still bones and tiny pieces of flesh left behind when the scavengers have eaten and gone away. After the scavengers, come ants and other insects to eat up whatever is left behind. Then, come the decomposers, these are bacteria and fungi, and they change all rotting flesh and bones into nutrients. We can, therefore, say that decomposers do the final cleaning up work. For this reason, they are sometimes called garbage collectors. And when plants eat these nutrients, they start the food chain all over again. Study the diagram to get a clear picture of a food chain. Moreover, some food chains are connected with many other food chains. This connection of food chains is called a food web. For example, squirrels eat nuts. Then, these squirrels become food for hawks, owls, or foxes. And when hawks, owls and foxes die, their dead bodies become food for scavengers. What the scavengers leave behind becomes food for decomposers. These decomposers change everything into nutrients. Then, nutrients become food for plants, and the food chain starts again. See the diagram below to understand this better. The food web above is just a sample that shows only a few of the food chains that may exist in one small area. A complete food web might include 50 or more living things.
Read the passage for this unit is finished. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and share my YouTube channel. See you on coming unit, be safe, thank you very much.